welcome back to all of you nana here and then in this record i am going to teach you about how to download the documents and records from google drive many people are struggling actually so let me go on and explain this part so first uh, i am now selling my records fine at the, at the website called oracle nana.com fine so if you go to my website oracle nana.com you can now find out uh, uh, my website actually so in this place you can see there is a button there i sell my records at so and so place okay you can even uh, read everything fine whatever is there you can just read it fine. and then afterwards what happens you go there i click on the i sell my records at oraclenow.com slash inbp and click on it it will now take you to one more uh, page of mine actually it is oraclenow.com slash inbp that is my web page fine. that is the sales page actually so here whatever you can now see in the bottom there are four sales are available and one is the inventory one is the procurement and then one is the order management and one i know uh, coupled 20 module records for a package of 9000 so here if you go there there is a link here now and if you click on the link you will now see what are the 20 modules which are contained there right? if you click on that link it will now tell you so these are the 20 modules <clears throat> so first 12 modules fine right? you will now get both the records and docs right? for all these things for all the 12 you will now get both the records and docs and right? even ebiz is there's a combination of ebiz as well as fusion actually you know, and then afterwards, what happens? These eight modules you will have, will get only records, but I don't have any documentation. They are all given by my students actually, like a PPM, and then the Planning Central, Fusion at CM, Technical, Financials, EDF Records, <clears throat> Oracle Integration Cloud, and then what happens inside. So these eight, uh, I have only records. I don't, I don't have any documentation. Whereas for the first twelve, you have everything. Fine, you'll be getting, uh, including all the documentation and records. Everything will be given to you. So it's a combination of EBIS as well as the Fusion records to you. you know. <clears throat> So one when you buy one of them, buy any of them, what happens? You can even buy via this now. Fine, there's a payment gateway actually. If you click on it, what happens? It will now open up this, and then you have to write your name, your email ID, as well as your mobile number. So once you write all the things, what happens? It will not take it as a payment gateway. So it is an international payment gateway. So it will even work for what any country actually. You can drop it on, so it will now work for any country. <clears throat> Only thing is, if you are going to buy from say the Iraq, fine, you must have your two-factor authentication for your card. So if you have two-factor authentication for God, then what happens? It accepts every country, actually. There is the only restriction because India, Indian government is asking for that restriction, actually. So uh, whenever you receive a payment from any other country, the uh, the credit card or debit card must have a two-factor authentication. Fine. So you can even check. You may not know knowing it. Fine. You can uh, do in that way. Now, fine. Give a name, give an address, and then a phone number, and then click on next. And then it will now accept what happens for India. It accepts all the payments. Now, fine. Your bank payment, fine. net banking payment, your UPA payment, credit card, debit card, and then etc etc it is a powered by insta module actually so once when you make a payment i will be getting what happens a message over here in my thing i will be getting a message so it is also preferable that what happens you put a what happens a whatsapp message also to me so my number is here now so click on post now so once when you make a payment so you can even what happens write to me on my whatsapp number right and then you take a screenshot of it and then send it because i watch the whatsapp now whatsapp very frequently with the mail i may not be watching it frequently so that as soon as you see, I will not share all the documents that are cost for you. Right. So this is a very huge package. And then this is 130 GB in size, actually. The remaining are all not that much, actually. <clears throat> and then if you are residing outside India, you can even pay via PayPal also. Right. And again, as soon as you make a payment, so uh, send a what's called a screenshot to my WhatsApp number. So that what happens, I will now look at it because I will be looking at it very frequently, actually. Right. It is on my mobile, on my packet itself. And so I'll be uh, getting an alarm. Uh, rather, I will get a kink sound whenever any message comes in. So I'll now respond to you immediately. So it was. And then the biggest problem for many people is what they were unable to understand about how to what happens at download. So what I will do is I will now share a Google Drive depend, depending upon what you have made a purchase on right? whether inventory or fusion procurement or order management or nine uh, or 20 module records. <clears throat> so depending upon that, I will be sharing it. So what you can do is you can go to drive.google.com. Once when you get my message, or when you can go to drive.google.com. So go to the drive.google.com. So here. On the left hand side, fine. On the left hand side, you'll be having on shared with me. Fine. Click on the shared with me. So whatever has been shared to you, it will all be visible here. So for you, what happens? Uh, I, I have not shared, shared to my own self. Okay, it will not show you. So what it will now look like is in the shared with me. If you go to the my drive, you can now see this will be coming in. Fine. If you have purchased the complete one, what happens? You'll be getting this. What happens? This one. Fine. Not as sufficient management records and documentation. If you have bought the complete package. So if you open it up and double click and then open it up, you will not see if you have bought only inventory, you will not get this. Right? If you bought only order management, you will not get it. 
language what happens in that so there are seven uh, what happens the directories over there and then on the right hand side if you see there is a what happens it is a grid view fine don't look at a grid now fine if you click on the grid so grid view is not good at all it is not looking like ni nicely actually fine no. we cannot see it very properly so you click on it and then make it as a list view first of all fine make it as a list view fine this is one in this icon make it as a list view it will be very easy to what happens in monitoring so first thing is what go to shared with me and then afterwards what happens see all those things and then whatever has been shared to you you can do it say for example the fusion inventory records and if you open it up double click and then i'm opening it up double click and i'm opening it up so you'll now see all the records are there so 01 onwards what happens it is 43 so you need a high speed internet first of all to download everything otherwise it's not possible at all with a hotspot we cannot download because it's all in gb fine with a hotspot you cannot download so you need a broadband connection fine so there are 43 records on one documentation available so i will tell you about how to do it okay you have to go back one level back so i will now go back here i will now click on this area if i go on and click on it what happens is no going back one level now okay i'm not going back so i want download what happens you go there click on it so first of all one more thing is what if you open it up <clears throat> many people will not be see able to see all the numbers actually so 01 onwards fine 9 will be missing 13 will be missing like that what happens it will be showing mainly because if you if you have cookies and then uh, what happens your temp files fine and then junk files fine those things will now prevent you from viewing all the files actually so what you do is first of all you go there you go to this place c cleaner <clears throat> fine download so put it now fine c cleaner download you go there c cleaner download the one fine go there you can go to c cleaner so you can go to the c cleaner website itself and that i will now right click on the oh, open the link in a new tab now and that one i'm not going to download it <clears throat> so go there so there are the so many things are available fine you take up the free version actually and take up free version. so free one is there and go on free is sufficient for us and that one and then click on the free download fine you can even buy fine uh, now necessary fine free is okay fine. so on the c cleaner.com and then the download page fine click on the free download now so once when i download it what happens it not start download <clears throat> so it's not downloading so click at the install okay so this is what is so once when the download is complete i will now click on the show all and you can now see this okay. so this is the one so if i click on it what happens i will now say uh, uh, keep find that because it has already i already find the drive file may harmful file now keep it now so click on keep because now asking me what keep anyway <clears throat> because the my uh, what's called my antivirus is now uh, preventing it from uh, what happens saving it fine so not done so if you click on it what happens it will now start install so since i have already installed i'm not installing it fine click on yes no fine i'll now go to the next stage fine go there. so it is now going to what happens to do the installation of the c cleaner <clears throat> So this will now clean all the cookies, junk files, and temp files actually. <clears throat> so, so the one. So I will not. I will not install because it is already installed. Okay. While installing it, it will ask you, shall I install some antivirus software like McAfee and all? Fine. You decline everything. Whatever it is recommending, you decline each and everything. Whatever it is asking for during installation, fine. So do not give just like the okay, 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 fine. So see what is asking for, and then afterwards, what happens? You decline all the extra softwares which it is going to ask now because it's the free version. it will not try to install so many other things fine always decline for all other things and then do it so close it now <clears throat> i am not installing it fine so once when it is installed what happens you will now find one icon on the desktop like what happens is a c cleaner icon so double click on it right? open it up and then double click on it double click on it <clears throat> c cleaner icon right yes now opening up so here i will now go to the custom cleans there will be some messages which will be coming fine see the on screen instructions and then come to the main page actually. fine say okay or neg ne negate for it fine if it is installation negative and then otherwise what happens the generic information what happens you make it okay and then come to the main screen so if you click on the custom clean and that so it will now analyze now fine click on analyze it's not going to analyze now. so before you analyze it you close all the browsers basically fine every browser you must close fine then only what happens it will now fully analyze fine click on analyze so go and analyze is no saying chrome needs to be closed i will not say no because i am working on the chrome now fine i will not say no but in in your case what happens you close everything and then do it i will not say no to it right. so you know you know saying again chrome needs to be closed i will not say no because i am not working on it so i am not doing it okay. so in your case what happens you do it so i got only 63 mb had i closed chrome i would have find even around 500 mb of what happens the junk data will be available right so i not done it so after having analyzed what happens to be removed as play finder is analyzed so click on the run cleaner button on the right hand side bottom and click on it it will now clean these 63 one fine again it is asking fine the selected files will be deleted from the pc fine continue fine. so continue i am not going to it now yet just to be closed is now asking for do you want c cleaner to close the edge no fine i will not say no to it because i am now demonstrating it so i am not doing it in reality what happens you do it now fine chrome needs to be closed no <clears throat> fine 
So it has now done only a certain amount of cleaning, but every, every browser is closed. What happens? It say yes, yes to it, and then close it. And then after having cleaned everything, what happens? You go to the registry, you know, and click on the registry, and then click on the registry, and then click on the scan for issues, and scan for issues, you scan for it now. So once when you scan for it, it now say so many registry issues it will be shown over now. <clears throat> and then again, what happens while you're doing the cleaning, what happens? Don't open any other browsers. And then click on the review selected issues. So some issues are coming back to review it. And then do you want to take a backup? It is asking. No, I don't want to take any backup at all. Because they're all junk files, junk registry entries. So give a no to it now. Do you want to take a backup? Say no to it. And then it will not show you around 10 or 15 will be there. Fine. Fix all the selected issues. And now only two is coming. Fine. Fix all the selected issues. It will fine. Close it. And then there is no complete. Then what happens? Restart your machine. <clears throat> fine. That is the best way. Fine. So after having cleaned the machine with the C cleaner, restart it. And then once when you restart it, and then go there in this place. What happens? You go there. <clears throat> I don't know. Close it. <clears throat> uh, that is my one. Go there. Separate one. So the patient limited records. Now you can see all the numbers. If it is still not visible, some numbers are still missing. You try in some other browser. When I am now working on Chrome, I go to Mozilla or what happens? You go to Opera or some other browser. Or otherwise, what happens? You check in some other machine. Fine. Uh, it's all because of this. Uh, what happens? Your browser cache mechanism, which is not allowing you to see. Everything. So that is the way you have to first of all. Uh, what happens? Uh, clear your cache and then junk files and cookies so that what happens? You'll be able to see all the numbers contiguous. So once we're done, what happens? Uh, every uh, record will be having one final session. Account. Here, if you see the 43rd is the final one, fine. There's a final there. That means what? Up to 43 is only there. And go back one level. So I will now go to the procurement now, right? Go to the fusion procurement six pillars, right? Double click on it. You know, go down. <clears throat> So here, what I mean, you can now see, there are one, it is a very big module, fine, six, six uh, pillars are there, you know, it's a very big one. <clears throat> and then you can see, the 66 is the final record, actually. The supplier import is the final record. And afterwards, some more documentation also. Right? So at least on the record front, what happens, you ensure that you have not downloaded up to, up, up to the final record. And after final record, you download it. So whatever it is, fine, go there. And then in the EBIS documents and records, you go there, fine, fine. So you'll have a lot of EBIS records. For example, EBIS inventory, fine, fine. It is approximately one hour and 45 minutes is the everyday session. And then it's a very fast session. And then eighth is the final one. Actually. So likewise, you have to identify whether you have now downloaded up to the final one or not. That way you have to do it. So go to the first place. You want us. So now I will now demonstrate about how to download the, uh, let's say one of the, one of the folders. If you open it up and then if you, what happens is you click on it and then right click and then download your download. So that will take a pretty long time actually. So instead what happens, what you can do is we can even download the entire directory. So what is the place that you want it? <clears throat> if you want to wait, you click on it and then right click and then download it. So once when you download it, what happens is that more than around uh, two or three GB basically. So it will not start to zip actually. If you go there, right click and then click on download. And then the right hand side bottom, you can now see it is now preparing for download is now. So it will now prepare for download. And then there are 43 records and then one document available. So I'll tell you what, how to do the download. So once when you do it, what happens, it will now create multiple zip files. It will be getting multiple zip files. And then once when the zip files are ready, it will now start to, what happens, they download into the system. So I will not pass the record for some time because I'm not zipping actually. I will not pass it. <clears throat> so now what happens, the one file, one file is zipped, it does not come off. It came as a one zip. And then it does not started, what happens, the downloading these files. So there are three zip files there. If you click on the show all on the bottom, of it, so it will now go there. So let me have a look at what the show all on the bottom. <clears throat> So click on the show all now. Fine, click on show all. It will now show you the progress of it. Now, fine, progress the download. So it's approximately 1.9 to 2 GB is the size actually. So you can now see that there are four folders are now getting what happens to download that. So this is the first one now. Fine, the 1.9 GB. This is a 2 GB. This is a 1.9 GB, and that's something 1.5. The balance. Right? So my speed is approximately what 4.6 MB, 4.7, 4.7. So approximately what happens 18 MB. 18 Mbps, 18 Mbps into 8 is what approximately 150 Gbps, 150 Mbps speed. Man, I have a very high speed internet. So what happens is happening. Otherwise, depending upon that, what happens, it will not say how much of time is left actually on this. <clears throat> so let us now get downloaded. And then once it is completed, what happens, it will be showing you. Fine. Let in the meantime, what happens, I will now pass the, what happens is the record. So that what happens, let it get downloaded. So it will now do into multiple zip files actually. Like what happens, 002, this is 003, 001, 004. So likewise, what happens, the multiple zip files will be coming. <clears throat> I'll now wait for the download to complete now.
so depending upon your internet speed the time taken for downloading every of these zip files so whether they 002 zip 003 001 004 so they will not vary and then it will not show you fine my total speed fine 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is approximately 16 to 17 mbps so 17 mbps is what into into 8 if you multiply it it will approximately what uh, approximately 140 to 150 mbps speed actually so i am now working on a 150 mbps speed uh, hotway uh, broadband actually so because of which what happens in novas otherwise it will not take some people it will not say around 30 minutes it will not show fine right? the time left is 30 minutes so you have to wait till everything gets completed so once when all the things are getting completed then what you can do is you have to what happens i will not tell you what are the next step comes <clears throat> so let it now first let it all let us not let us wait for all the zip files to get completed actually now it is now saying 40 38 seconds approximately left now fine 1.4 gb is already downloaded so we have got only 0.1 gb fine that was us <clears throat> So likewise, what you have to do is in this place, if you go there, if you go there. So each and every directory, whatever has been shared, fine, click on it, right click and then download. Right click and then download. So go there and download. So there is one other documents and records is there. So click on it. The other documents and records can go there. So here, do not right click on this and download. Fine, there's again a big one now. Fine, open it up. Fine, do not do it. Fine, open it up. And then here, you've got plenty of things. Fine, and the difference. Fine, you've got so many records. So if, for example, ADF records, if you open up, fine. other document records if you open the adf records adf records it will be there's a two training session on there fine so if you double click on the adf recording or they'll be having two sessions this itself is a big one so first of all identify what to up to what level you have to drill down fine the big one 30 records so in this place what happens you go there and then click on it and then right click on that drop and download likewise it is so first of all identify everything and then do it now fine the other document records technical record is there fine fine the three finance the hcm is there and all that so so, so many things are the plugins are there Having so many, so first of all identify, and then afterwards what happens? You go there, right click, and then download the individual ones. Fine. After watching, fine. For example, the PPM one is there. Fine. Double click on it, and then I watch it now. So you know, fine. One, one. <coughs> fine. Well, then twenty days is the cost of that. So this itself is a big one, around eight to ten GB approximately. So this one you have to go there and then right click and download. This way you do it. So if you go to the download phone, the first one is got completed. Fine. The notion is showing folder. So similarly, the remaining ones are running now. Fine. So once when everything is completed. You will now click on the show in folder. It will now show all the four zip files. Zero zero one, zero zero two, zero zero three, zero zero four. Everything it will now show. So then afterwards, we will now take a copy. <clears throat> so the second one is completed. So the third one is also going to be completed. So everything is now completed. Right? So click on the show folder. So we will now have this number. So I will now take a copy of all the four, all the four zip files with the control. I am taking a copy. <clears throat> And then create one directory now. <clears throat> so uh, so first of all, no. First of all, come over here, fine. So this is the one which you have purchased. Fine, today all the twenty models are purchased. So it has got what happens? The seven folders. Right? So what you do is you go to this place first of all, and then go there. I will now open up one the PC. What happens? Let me go to the fourth one. I will now create a new directory. Right? So click on new. I will now say folder. I will now say it is Nana Training underscore one because I might have created one. Fine. So open up fine. In this place, what happens? You open up. And then create one more directory. Right click on that. What happens? The new. And then folder. I now say fusion inventory. Fusion inventory. So the directory. Gets. So here, what happens? You open it up. Fine. Open up this directory and paste all the four. Paste all the four. So all the four uh, zip files. I'm pasting it only. So, so now uh, we are now creating a directory structure on your on your uh, hard disk structure of whatever you are seeing in this place. So what you are seeing in this place? What happens? We are now creating a hard disk structure. <clears throat> now we are going to unzip it actually. So different mechanisms will be available. So since I have got a seven zip mechanism available, seven zip is installed in there. So using the seven seven zip, what I am going to do is I am going to unzip all that. So while unzipping it, what happens? You have to th think, think, and then do it. So none of the zip files do not have any common for common uh, data at all. When everything is a different data only. So go there, come on, no comment. <clears throat> so now what happens? The copying is now complete. Fine, slightly expanded. No more. So I will now keep my custom memory zero one time. Right click and then I will now unzip it. So extract files. Right click and since I have a seven zip, if you have a different one or uh, something like this, uh, bin drawer or something like that, accordingly extract it. And click on extract. I'm going to extract it. So go there. Come on. So go there. It is not showing you what this this folder. Fine. Click on OK. So it will now create a directory on this. It will now create a directory on this. It is called zero one directory. So we are now what happens? Unzipping everything. Zero one is now getting unzipped. This means. So now, so now we go there. Two also unzip on the same place actually. The two also has to be unzipped on the same place. Right? right click on that. What happens? Unzip, extract it. 
you know that it is not going to suggest you to fine, go there and then change it to one now. Fine, you know change it to one. You know that. So give a tap. So change it to one and then click on OK. So that will also get unzipped on the same folder. Fine, that will also be getting because there is no common at all. Nothing is common. And so what happens is that will also be getting unzipped on the same place. Out. We are unzipping it. So not a, I will not go to the third. Now fine, click on third. And then right click and then I will not what happens. Extract. Again, on the same one only, I'm going to unzip it. Go there, click on it. So now unzip on the same zero one now. Click on it. So everything is getting unzipped on the same zero one only. Zero zero one only. We are unzipping it. And then finally, the fourth one I'm going to unzip. So this is a very simple uh, technique actually. Go there, right click on that, what happens? Extract files. I'm going to extract it. This is also, I'll be putting it on the same zero zero one only. 001 and click on okay. So everything is now getting extracted. So one when everything is now extracted or unzipped, now you can open up this file and see. I will not open it up. I will not open it up. Double click on it, open up. So it is not showing you again another file now. Find the same whatever you have seen here now. Find this place. Right? If you go to the what's called another again. So here what happens? You can now see the fusion inventory records 24th September. That is the directory. And within the directory, you have got this many four files now. So if you go to this place, now fine, go to the place, and it's now going fine. So double click on it, fine. Double click on it. <clears throat> go that on it. You'll now see, fine. you'll now view the what's called the details. The details. Thank you for the details. View details. It'll now show you one below the other. Fine. Now you examine whether all the numbers are available here. 01020304. Fine. No first of all, examine everything. <clears throat> so up to 43 has to be there. And then what one documentation. So by which what happened, the entire folder has got unzipped actually. So if anything is missing, you can even go to the individual file and then download it. No, nothing. Normally, normally nothing will be visible. Well, everything is coming. So now what you do is you go back one level and then take a copy of this and then go back one level and go back one level. You go go back one level and then paste it over here. So paste it over here. So we are now pasting it over here. So we are taking a copy of the directory. Now you are now exactly simulating uh, my drive into your hard disk. <clears throat> So my drive says what? Uh, it is not having this what? It is not having this no fine. So you are having fusion inventory records below the non supply chain management record. So the header also you can make it same thing. Fine, non supply chain management records and documentation. Now I made as a non trading one. So this header also you can make it like this. And then once when it is completed, what happens? You can now see that it is not going on no fine. So once when it is completed, once when it is done. So we will not delete the balance basically. <clears throat> now wait for the what happens? There, copying it to the main directory no fine. So go there. So it is not coming, coming, coming. So it is not getting copied now. Copy so that what happens, you will not be uh, having any problem with the space actually. So, it's not a, right now, select everything fine, with the control. I'm selecting everything the remaining ones, the zip files as well as the 001 file. Shift and delete, fine. Shift delete will not delete everything. So, that's it. Fine, it deletes. So, now finally, we have got fusion inventory records 24th September exactly like what we have in the system. Double on it. So, everything is available. You can go to the view and then go to the details. Fine, you can see that. So like this, what happens each and every directory you have to download. I hope that you have any. Uh, so if you have any doubts on all these things, fine. Again, talk to me. Fine. So first of all, install the ST cleaner and then clean everything. And then ensure that each and every directory, you are able to see all the files. Fine. So if you go to the, what's called, whatever you're going now. Fine. <laughs> and then in this place, if you go to the Oracle SCM training docs and dumps, fine. This is the one thing. So the docs and dumps, fine. So double click on it, the docs and dumps. Fine. So you go there. So there are there are five uh, additional records docs there. Everything you have to download, right click and then download. That way you'll do it. So it's slightly lengthy actually. And then we have useful dumps are also available. Useful dumps are available. Fine. Double click on it. Fine. Useful dumps are available. Fine. Double click on it. So you'll be having a lot of dumps. Whenever the students share the dumps, I'll be pasting it over here. These are very dumps, pure dumps, fine, like that. All the dumps which will be available. So from that, what happens? You can only see the dumps. So this is on the one now. Fine. It's on the dumps. Fine. So this is on the non SCM training documents and record documents and dumps actually. <clears throat> so these five only will be somewhat big. But even then, you can even try also find this place. Whatever you go there, the complete thing you can even try. Try to download now. Fine. It may be around eight GB or something like that. It may even download also. Fine. Yeah, or this one, sorry. This one. <clears throat> but this is a very big one. Fine. This is a very big one. Do not try to download. Fine. It may be around one, uh, around 40 to 50 GB actually. Fine. Do not do this. But this you can even right click and then download. No? Fine. This you can do it. But this you don't do it. No? Fine. Other documents and records, what you do is you open it up and then each and every individual recordings you download. Fine. That way you do it. Fine. These are all, everything is big, around 40 to 50 GB. So you, you may even fail if you, what happens, they download like this. 
And then similarly, e-business records find the double count, and then you can even uh, download all the e-business records, whatever you have been told over there. So this is on the download part. And then create a directory structure like what I have, and then uh, whatever you have purchased, fine. Let's say not as a budget, you have only purchased this, whatever you will be having only this one. Or whatever you have purchased, you'll be getting it on the e-business. So this is on the download. And then afterwards, I will now be adding you to my Telegram group, actually. I will now be adding to the Telegram group. So let's say it's a Nana's password group. So you can even interact with my people. Actually. I mean, there are, so more than 600 members are available here. So there are some people who will be asking for questions. Somebody will be answering it. Fine. So you can even put your questions over here. Now, fine. Anybody will be answering it. Fine. Either I will answer or somebody will be answering it. Actually. So uh, once when I add it, what happens? I'll, you'll be getting a message that what happens? This uh, Selva Kumar Ranjan has been added. Now, fine. I'll, I'll be adding. So I will now give you a link to what happens to come here. So here, my students are sharing instances actually. Say, for example, the EU TH Dev 25, some uh, few moments, fine, only by 6.15, fine, some uh, half an hour before one of my students has shared. So you will be having a URL, and then you'll be having a username as prc10.student, and then it will be followed by a password called welcome123 with a capital W. So I'll be sharing it. So you can uh, go to the URL, and then uh, put the username and password, you can sign in. So sometimes what happens, it will be on a different way. Mm. I will miss out. Okay. Fine. Sometimes what happens, it will be coming in a different way. Fine. This is one. Uh, if you go up now, fine. Sometimes I'll be getting uh, the instances from my students in a different manner, actually. So here also, what happens, you're having the username and password. If you go up, go up, go up. <clears throat> Sometimes what happens, I'll be getting like this. And if you go, see the ESLR. So on the ESLR, I'll be having the, user, uh, what happens, the URL and then the password only. Fine. The username is missing. So if the username is missing, then what happens, you can see in this place, use any of the hundred, hundreds of users below. So you can take a copy of it and then keep it over there. So if you're working on supply chain, what happens, you can use scm student up to scm student. So the initial numbers people use to reset and then keep the passwords with them. Offhand. So what happens, they try from 04 or 05. So it'll definitely work. Similarly for the PRC. Similarly for the PRC. So procurement users are there. Fine. PRC 01.student up to PRC 40.student. And then for what happens, the CRM and then financials, everything is there. So there are hundreds of users available here. All the users will work for uh, whenever I don't give any username at all. If I give a username, only those users only will work. If I give a username, fine, only those users will work. And then if you have any instances to share, you send it to me. I will also share over here. It is basically a mutual help between everybody. So by which what happens, we will all be able to practice everything on this moment. So it will be a very healthy interaction. And then if you have any doubts, you can even post it on the group. now. So I will be what happens, giving you a link to join. This is a private group, actually. I'll be giving you a link to join. So once when you click on the link, what happens, you can now join the group and then interact with others. So my training is always very exhaustive and then it will be covering a lot of topics on this. So you can even watch my YouTube channel. If you go to youtube.com, go to the youtube.com. And then there, what happens? If you query Ananta Nana, Ananta Nana, so if you query it, my channel will be coming. This is my channel. So go there. And then if you click on this channel, what happens? It will show you plenty of records about it. So many records, more than 50 records are uploaded picture. So you can watch that whatever you can now see this. Right. So that way you know. So my records are there. So uh, that will now give you a lot of information. It's fine. Some of the cream of my uh, whatever the recordings have been uploaded over there. So go there. So if I go on and show it to you, fine. So if you go to such account, <clears throat> and then uh, you can now see that there are almost 5,400 subscribers are there. And then uh, I will now go there to find it. I will now go to what my YouTube should be. The studio, what happens, you can now see. As and when I find that anything is important and informative, what happens, I'll be uploading it to my channel. So, the content you can now see. The one. So, please watch my record without skipping any ad. So, if you don't skip my ad, what happens, I will be getting some money also. And if you go to the what's called analytics, so in the past 28 days, you now see how much of money I've earned now. <clears throat> so, click on the analytics. And in the past, what happens is 28 days, I know earned approximately $48. So this was a good income for me. Fine. My groceries, I can meet with this. Fine. So do not skip any videos, any video, any advertisement, basically. If you don't, if you see all the advertisements, I will be getting some money on this. Fine. That is how it is going. So thanks for what happens is not skipping the video, uh, not skipping the advertisement while watching the video. Fine. So that is the only benefit I'm getting it fine, by sharing all these things. So please help your teacher also. So the dashboard. <clears throat> So there are that. you can even subscribe to the one. Right? Uh, any video you can very well subscribe. Go there and then you can subscribe it. You know? So that you can then pass it on to the information to others now. Right? So that you'll be getting it. So I now shown you about my channel and then I've shown you about my drive, how it is organized, and then I'll not tell you about how to download from Google Drive. Right? That is a very important one. So that one I had taught you about. <clears throat>
and then if you have any doubts on this topic so each and every module has got an agenda also and you can even look at the agenda and how it is so this is the 20 module that talking about and then at any time you can very well contact me and then discuss with me and i am one of the best trainers in the world of mine my training coverage is very in depth and then it will be giving a lot of insight into it of mine because i implemented it so with a practical implementation experience i am now conducting this training and so what happens you know find it to be very very useful actually so what else i think i have most covered everything right so how to drive more. so in this place again what happens if you are not purchased the other documents this one now right? this one uh, this is basically this is inbuilt in every one you go to the fish inventory records from there you can go that to find so here you have a word file on the bottom and there is a word file and open the documents and documents and open the document so double click on it so it will be having what a word file and then here the scm documentation dumps fine right? you take a copy of it and then put it on a on a the, that will be coming if right? you go there and then click on it so it will now show me documents and dumps fine right? you can see all the five additional docs records and then you can now see the useful dumps right? so each and every folder will be having one such thing this is the one now fine right? so i'll now close it and then show it to you fine right? <clears throat> the one So let me close this one. So if you go there, <coughs> we go to this place. Remember, so the one. So if you go to this place, fine. Now go to the procurement also. Go to open the procurement. Go to this place. I have now opened up the procurement. I have now shown you that file on the inventory one. Now, fine. So if you go, there, if you go to the efficient procurement six pillars also. Fine. Here also you'll be getting one such file on this. Go to bottom. Fine. So download ACM documents and from this word file. Now, double click on it. You will now find the same link available. The same thing. <clears throat> so through what happens, we can now download all the documentation as well as the dumps also. So this is also available. And the last one, so the one, and then it is also available in the main one also. The main one also is available. So there also what happens, I'm not kept it. So every module's documentation, right? EBS documentation itself is around two GB actually. And then you have a documentation for inventory, procurement, order management, etc., etc. So all those things are also available. Also. So, so many useful. So, plenty of what happens. Uh, documents and records are available with you now, and so that what happens, you can very well practice. And then you can always talk to me or write to me for any clarifications. Fine. And then this group, <clears throat> this group will now give you a lot of assistance. Basically, fine. Whenever you are getting stuck on the implementation, you can put your queries, and then what happens? Somebody or other may even help you out. So that way it comes. <clears throat> and then only what I do, what happens? I say that uh, this is basically my past students group. Actually. And that will be giving you a lot of input on this. So with this, I con conclude this. Uh, 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 what happens? Uh, the procedure for downloading the documentation from Google Drive. Fine. Bye for now. And then we'll now meet on some other way.